Hello, Wallpool Man Stack here. Gonna do a uh, VR. This is not gonna be a quick one by any means. Uh, it's for uh, Sensei Domino 15. And he wants us to do one of three things. And I'm gonna try to do all three of them in this video. And the things are, he wants to shout out five channels under 500 subs. I'll do that at the end. And I'll leave their link in the description below. Um, he also wants to show how we've changed over the years and show our favorite cards. So I'm gonna kind of do both of them at the same time. And uh, I started with pretty much that one right there is gonna be my starting card. And uh, I was all, I was real tickled to death to have that card when I first started collecting. And was able to go and get some cards in person. I got Bob Feller. I've got a Lou Brock somewhere and I cannot find it, but I wish I could find that Lou Brock. And then uh, I actually pulled that one from a, uh, a pack back then. So that was really tickled right there. Um, so that's kind of how I started, was junk wax and doing this right here. And uh, pretty much like everybody else, I quit in the early 90s. I wish I'd have kept, <laughs> that's what I, I keep saying to myself, I wish I'd have kept one more year and I'd have got all them, them uh, Derek Jeter rookie cards and all that great stuff like that. Um. But I started back in 2017. And uh, I kind of started back. I I know I this was one of the first new cards I bought. And it was uh, PAX. And uh, I bought some boxes of this Allen & Ginter. And pulled this one out of it. And that is just a banger out there. I, I, I'm tickled to death to have that book. That's the first book I pulled. And... and uh, I was hooked back again after I opened that box right there. But uh, I started buying cards with gift cards when I first came back into the thing. And I built this complete set right here uh, of the subset of the All-Stars with just using gift cards. So that was, that was pretty neat to get me back into it. And uh, bought a few of the newer cards like that. And then ended up building the complete 2019 top series two set and series one and stuff but um i kind of went from buying new cards to buying old cards and and really enjoyed the old cards more and uh bought some of these these are some of my favorite cards even some football in there and uh this right here i still still enjoy that card i, I really like that ted williams Standing by that Marlin. That's the that's one of my favorites. Um and of course uh built my nineteen sixty set after that. So uh I was really started building sets at that point and was building the sixties uh I like I said I had the mantles in there too. And uh started doing some TTMs and this was a uh a buyback, but I was trying to build this sixty set in autographs and uh pretty neat to get a buyback for it, which it goes to my buyback sets too, which I am still building. Also building the 79 set in buyback and 79 set in autograph. So still building them. And uh, them's two nice cards right there for both buybacks and for them autograph sets. Had some other nice autographs. So that's one of my favorites right there. It's still in the one touch. And, uh, Ended up the most I've spent on a card, and I got this one right here, and uh, got it raw and and so and sent it in to SGC. So uh, that was a real big experience, and that's got to be one of my favorite cards still. And uh, this one right here, I've always liked this relic card. Is uh, my dad really liked Yogi Berra, so uh, I will always be a, a Yogi fan. And lately, I've been going into this, uh, just getting as many. Aaron or Willie Mays cards as I can get in lower grade. I don't care. They fill the fill the hose and really enjoying buying them. So that's the way I'm kind of going now. I'm still using my buybacks. I've actually completed my buyback set. But uh that's it. That's the way I've kind of went. I went from junk wax to vintage. And then uh my shout outs. I'm gonna give um it's uh, Daryl, Mr. 95 Cent over there. He's got 453 subs, and he should be over, over 1,000. All these should have more subs than they do. 
Uh, it's got uh, Stoops baseball cards and curiosities. He's at 213, and he should he should have plenty more. Um, Jason over at Basement uh, Basement Card Collector, uh, 426. So he's he's getting close to that 500 mark, and I think we should get him over that. Uh, part time rippers at 203. I I can't understand that. Great channel right there. And then uh, four soft corners, uh, Joe, over there, he's at 303. Again, I can't understand that. But I'll leave all their links in the description below. Go check them out. Sub them up if you haven't already. And that's it. I've tried to do all three of them on there. And uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.